Before this video starts, I have an announcement to make. Raid your piggy bank, because merch is back, baby! We have two brand new designs, spray paint and sketched. Spray paint has a cool hazmat guy with my logo sort of splashed in the background, and sketched has a clean, drawn look to my logo that also comes with a backside. If you want to keep things low key, it's no problem. You can choose to not have the backside and go for the simple embroidered pocket logo only. Embroidered basically means sewed on, so it will have that pop feel and look. What's cool about all this is that not only will you be able to represent and support the channel, but when you make a purchase, you have the option of leaving a private message to me, and I will do my best to answer them all. This drop is only going to last one week, so if you're interested, I suggest ordering now. Thanks for tuning in, and a big thanks for 700k. Now, let's get into the video. <sighs> Welcome to Rust. Today, I'm going to be playing solo. And, uh, do I have any BPs on here? Yeah, yeah, okay, we have a few things here. So, hopefully we can make something happen with this. So, look, there's a man. Hey, brother. <laughs> Alright, so, I don't have any plans for today. I don't have any goals. Uh, just to make gains, you know? A lot of stone nodes out here. Ooh, there's a scrap heli on top of that. Free wood? Easy. Okay, they're going towards Bandit. Maybe there's some stuff left here. DB. Nice. Only one shot, but better than nothing. Wait. This is awkward. God damn it, bow guy, you ruined it. Oh my god. Whew. Compound bow. It's gonna be kinda nice. I guess I can do a little bit of gambling or something. Try three. Oh! Oh, shit! I had like eight on 20. I still think it's gonna be three. Yes! I might buy an M9, dude. Oh! No way, dude. No way. We're almost at LR. LR is 500 scrap, but LR barely gives you any 5.5 five to go with it. So I think I'm just gonna buy an M9, dude. Since I had some basic blueprints on this server, I could craft extra ammo for this M9. Recycle grenades for gunpowder. Make like a couple of handmaids, and then we'll make the rest into pistol ammo. Good one, dude. What? Why would you do this? So it's here one, here we go. Okay, I guess I'll go make a base. I mean, I'm down a base around here. This is like pretty solid, I think. All right, we got a base. Cool. This is a really good spot. I got outpost. Bandit, you know, pretty decently close. Train yard, power plant, oil rig when I want to. Even large rig is down on this side of the map. I think this is going to be a good spot. 
Once I finished up the base, I went back to Bandit to loot the rest of that guy's stuff. It may have just been scraps, but as a solo, I needed everything I could get. Ooh, I kind of want to go for that. Okay, this is really, really good so far. Three double barrels, extra armor, extra weapons. It's just looking pretty solid, but I don't want to jinx it. Okay, let's go to train yard. Upon arriving at train yard, I heard some voices inside. Did he just take off his kit? Because of Chinook? He did. He fucking did. That is truly unfortunate for that guy. Oh, there's a crate, a train. I'm gonna go for that. I'm not gonna activate it unless someone else do it, and I'll shoot them in the head when they start doing it. It's exactly what I was waiting for. Python. gonna leave with these guns. Uh, wow, okay. I need to make another box. Oh, there's two of them, both waiting on either side. That is unlucky. I could have went back with the MP5 gear set, but even after losing the Python kit, I was still up. I knew there was at least three people guarding the crates in very good positions, so fighting this would be too risky. <laughs> what is he doing? So, I cut my losses and I went elsewhere with my MP5. Okay, I want to go to the abandoned supermarket, try and get a green card, and then I can do sewer branch, I guess? See, has he? I saw just a glimpse of him. Luke was his name. I'm gonna go quick depot this. Okay, lost the python, got back a Tommy. I'm gonna bring a fuse in case I do find a green key card, then I can just hit sewer right away. My god. Okay, I'm just gonna go depot. Furnace on in that base over there. That could be the foreman from Train Yard. Oh, there's someone right here. I'm just gonna keep going.
I'm actually gonna keep this heartbeat sensor. Because if I find a smart alarm, I can actually set that up. Oh, wait, there's a mini. My goal here is um, to get a red key card while also getting scrapped for a tier two. Look, I can already make a tier two. This is perfect. I can craft myself meds and I can go to oil rig with a red key card. So I went to train yard to get that red key card and I heard a raid in the distance. A satchel raid. Probably gonna be a fourth satchel and then that's it. Oh, and they have AKs. Yikes. Maybe I will go to that right after I get this red card. I'm not even gonna recycle, I'm just gonna go straight home. I think the raid's well over with, but there could still be people around, so, yep. No way. Holy shit, guys. We already have an AK. That was a pretty easy AK. With this AK, I decided to do oil rig. Ooh, someone's calling it right now. That one of them is um, on top of red room. They're both in red room. Are you kidding me? Fuck! I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back. Get the fucking side. That was such a bad idea. I think there's only one left. I full killed that guy. Oh, that scrap hell is going towards. Fuck. Trapped myself, god damn it. What the? Dude, what is this game? gonna wait for more reinforcements again that's what's gonna happen what are you kidding me a headshot oh my god this is so fucked up Dude, how are you not dead
guy. My guy. Did you really just die to fall damage? I was one health, dude. You just you killed you killed two of us and you died of fall I'm, damage. I was literally one health, dude. I feel dude. so bad for you. I know. I, I genuinely feel so bad for you. I kind of dropped the ball there, but I still had a couple of guns to fall back on. I noticed cargo was out, so I figured I'd go for it. Oh my god, this was him. Oh, it's over! It's GG! I've never seen someone hand me a dub so fast in my life. Oh, you gotta be joking, dude. Once again, I threw away my There's chance. No I went to my death marker to see if my body wasn't looted, as it did fall into the water. But, as expected, it was. However, while I was out there, I found something. I'm gonna bring this rib back, because that decayed base is two stories tall, and if I use the rib, I can boost up. There was nothing in this decayed base, but it was another base that caught my eye. Dude, this is a good way to make your base look juicy as fuck. Yo, 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 wait a minute. Wait just a second here. I can't tell. I really can't. I'm trying to figure out if this triangle here is open. I feel like it is, dude. If you guys don't get what I was trying to figure out here, I'll explain. This base has a backwards front door. If I soft-sided this with a jackhammer, it would then allow me to soft-side the ceiling that would hopefully lead to this room on the second floor, which is clearly loaded with boxes. This would be a gamble because I wasn't 100% sure this triangle didn't just lead to another wall, but it was worth checking. Before I followed through with this plan though, Trainyard Chinook dropped again. Ooh, a bolty up here? I'm gonna try and kill this guy first. Once again, I was outnumbered and they had the positional advantage. Pushing this would be suicide. So, I went back to base with the intention to carry out my plan. Why is there a mini? Right here, outside of my base. What was this guy doing? Edited Adam, like, I'm so confused. Python Duca. This is not the same guy. I'm gonna make a tier one so I can refill the jackhammer while I'm over there. I mean, I guess I'll take the uh, mini copter there, might as well. I don't think he even knew what was happening. He's got a little bit too. Alright, let's start this thing. Hey man, what you doing man? Mind if, uh, mind if you just don't bother me here, here? Thank you. 
Yeah, dude, this running back and forth is getting a little bit redundant, not gonna lie. I think a spear would be much faster here. Oh my god, yeah. <gasps> that was TC. No way that was TC. It was. Dude, no way. No way. And this is open. I thought I had a coat. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. I need to focus on one thing at a time here. Okay, that, that, that. And a TC. Boom. Wow, dude. Is this one open too? No, 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 no. This is scripted, dude. This is fucking scripted. Why don't they lock the doors? More stuff. The return from this eco raid was far better than I expected. All of this loot would make up for what I lost on oil rig and cargo ship. So I transferred the best loot, but left some upkeep in the raid so I could use it as a secondary base. Once I finished with this, I saw that cargo was out again, so I went for it. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. Okay, so someone definitely is on here. It's probably a solo, because they left a lot of the scientists. Okay. Scientist. Okay, dude. Like, how does he get there? It was only one person. If I got back fast, I could win this fight. Good thing I have this endless supply of minicops. This is the only time this has ever happened to me. Fuck. Yes! Yes! Holy shit, man. Too close. Too fucking close. Oh my god, another 4X. So what's really cool is I got this smart alarm. Now I have that heartbeat sensor at home. I can literally set this up. That would be so cool. <sighs> we made it, boys. So I noticed that this shop is selling explosive 5.5 for 700 sulfur. Uh, that is actually a pretty good deal, so I'm gonna do that. Before logging off for the night, I grabbed that explosive ammo from someone's shop. After researching that, I decided to set up my raid alarm, just in case any pesky offline raiders were interested in my base. Okay, so basically how the heartbeat sensor works is that it has to have line of sight. I don't want my alarm to be going off when people just walk by my base, you know, that's just gonna be annoying. So I'm trying to think, like, what is gonna be the most common point of entry? So if they come from roof, they're probably gonna end up blowing this door. So maybe like right here would be a good spot. There it is. And now I name it, pair device. It's inactive right now. Exclude all.
unauthorized. There we go. Okay, yeah. So now, whenever I walk by it, it won't trigger the trap. Okay. Now it should work. Yo, it works! That is actually really cool! Here, I'm gonna turn on my silent mode. Let's turn off my silent mode, I mean. There we go! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Base alarm! Aw oh, shit, here we go again. That's so cool. That is so cool. Alright guys, that's it. Um, hopefully tomorrow, I can make some more plays. So far, this solo run has been pretty good. But you may be saying to yourself, how does this solo run keep getting better, like I say? There have been a lot of ups, but just as many downs. Well, day two is about to answer that question. Oh my goodness, I'm terrible, guys. Okay, now this is gonna answer that question. Get in. <laughs> oh, they didn't get it. Oh my god, I whiffed. That's unfortunate. Uh, hello? Fucking die! Dude, like the fucking bolties, man. So many crossfires. I headshot him, he's not dead, dude. Invalids, feels bad. Wow, that hurts, man. The fight was mostly grubs now, so I quit while I was up in AK gear set and waited until it died down. Once it did, I took my best kit and I headed to the base I raided yesterday to call in the airdrop I got from Cargo.
Woo. You take, but you don't use against me, okay? Oh my god, this guy's meds. During that fight, I lost the airdrop loot, but I profited the AK gear set amongst other things. While I was out surveying the area with a throwaway kit, I oddly heard some gunshots coming from the shore. What the fuck? There was four fully geared players. In a wide open area, I knew exactly what I needed to do next. The guy better be dead. All dead. GG boys. Oh my god. No way, dude. has a cheese in it I think and just like that I got a bunch of raid equipment dude I need to go home like home home I ran this along with the extra AK gear set back to main base and by the time I returned heli came out That's in Grub City. All right, let's try this shit. Oh, is he dead? Please let me wall!
I'm assuming that was him again. Nope. Monka. Okay. Trash. That's really good. That was so close. We got an M2, boys. Oh my. Oh, hi guys! <laughs> What's up? Is there four? I think there's four. My ass is gonna get so fucking raided, man. I wonder if that was Chulo that I just killed. Well, Obviously it was Chulo that I killed at the crash, but I'm wondering if it was Chulo with- that he brought back the boys just now. I wonder if that was him. Dude, if I start getting online though, I'm whipping this out. Now that a group knew where I lived, I felt like a raid was coming soon. Hopefully, I would be online when it did. For now, I got myself prepared. Hey, I got a little light now. That's cool. That's why ceiling lamps are worth to keep, because they just give you cool stuff. Like, light. Little did I know, while I was making my preparations, this group was making their move much faster than I anticipated. I think the boys are here. Yep. Alright boys, big mistake. What are they doing? And you're all dead. GG. Thanks for the rockets, guys. Papi Chulo. The group that raided me was with the same person that I killed at the heli crash. I guess they figured that because I was solo, the raid would be easy. Boy, were they wrong. But you see, I wasn't gonna stop there. Just over the hill was a reasonably sized base with a bunch of turrets. They kept coming from this direction, so I figured I'd give it a look. I think this is where Papa Chulo lives, and uh, it doesn't look very easy. This is the direction they came from. It would make sense if they lived this close. What? They have an army of horses! So I'm thinking I should probably raid some kind of farm base before I raid them. Oh, you know what a good raid would be? Those guys out in the desert in that 3x3. So if you didn't catch on, I'm considering raiding Chulo's group. But as of now, I knew I didn't have enough explosives. Something I figured I could raid though was this 3x3 I saw near supermarkets. It was active, and they once shot at me with AKs so it's possible that it's loaded. So I headed over there in advance to make a small raid base. But then I got distracted by another raid in the distance. Ooh, rocket raid. Probably gonna go for that. If I profit rockets from this, I might just not even do that raid. I might just go straight for Cholo. I think that guy saw me, dude. Yeah, he definitely did. I'm gonna make it look like I'm running away. And your triple headshot.
Whoa. Dude, how the fuck is he not dead? Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Yeah, this guy bled. No explosives for now, but I'd be going back for round two after I depot. Oh no. Okay, these are smokes. That's good to know. Oh my god. What? <sighs> I got what I came for. It was time to make my escape. Get me out of here, please. Oh my god. Like, this is just ridiculous, dude. I'm getting close to enough. I honestly am. I think I might have enough to raid these fucking guys. Dude, look at my explosives right now. Six rockets, four C4, five satchels, nearly four stacks of explosive ammo, five HEs, and then all this sulfur. I more than doubled my rocket count when I went for that counter raid. So now, I felt like the raid against Chulo would be possible. So I headed over there to make a game plan. Alright, what's my game plan for this base? Definitely gonna incendiary rocket these external wooden walls, that's for sure. Maybe I'll instant rocket that turret there. Even if I don't win this raid, at least I'll be able to free the horses, you know? So turrets are only three high-velocity rockets if you hit them point-blank. Well, not point-blank, but straight on. So I'd probably want to get rid of the top one. Definitely that side one. Is high-velocity rocket a tier two? It is. Okay, you know what? I have high-velocity rockets from a heli. Because, dude, like, I have so much GP, and I don't have a tier three yet. So I can't just, I can't make more expo with it. So might as well just make in uh, high-velocity rockets. The first part of my plan was settled. I'd research and craft HV rockets to take out the main turrets, so I could get a closer look at the main base once inside of their compound. Alright boys, let's get this shit. Oh my god, I missed I think. There we go, that's definitely a hit. Wait, is it gone? Okay, I got it, I got it. Ah. Oh. Hey, let's see here. That one's facing that way. Holy fucking horses, dude. Dude, this is gonna be so loaded. Oh, hello. Stashes? Is there more? Look at all the horses, dude. Why? So much charcoal. Before I had the chance to bring any serious explosives over here, counter raiders showed up.
I just want to free the horses. There is many trapped horses in here, man. I am doing world favor for this man. They are scared and lonely. Let me free horses. I tried reasoning with them, but it didn't work. Busting my way out was my only option. Bad cheat. Bad cheat. Why you cheat, man? <laughs> what do I cheat? Oh, nice cheat, man. Before bringing the main explosives, I needed to get rid of one more turret. Why? I have so many questions. Okay, I'm freeing all these horses. Go now! Run! Go! Relieve yourself of your clothing! Be gone! Your prayers were answered! Unlock these chains! Free yourself! Okay, uh, that's all the horses I'm gonna do for now. This actually takes way longer than I first anticipated. I released a lot, okay, so we're gonna go continue on with this raid. Once I had a look in the compound, I decided on a point of entry. I had 200 explo ammo, the reinforced window, and splashed the embrasure. I wanted to save my rockets for the core, so I believe this was my best option. Holy shotgun trap, no thanks. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I don't want to run over with the rockets while those guys are chilling out there, so I'm gonna go clear it first. Uh, yep, that's why I didn't go out with the rockets. These guys were clearly upset about losing a few sets to me as they kept coming back and camping the area. But after waiting a long while, the coast finally seemed clear, so I went over with the rest of my explosives. Okay, we made it, dude. Thank God. <laughs> Big Base is the name. Holy fridge. Fuck me, dude. This is gonna be loaded. This is gonna be a frustrator, isn't it? 
At this stage, I knew I'd be mindlessly shooting explo ammo, so I destroyed the ladder. I hope that does damage to it. Okay, it does, good. This is known as a frustrator, or suicide drop down. Meaning if you drop down to loot the boxes, you'll die. The best way to counter them is with F1 grenades. They have insane splash and do very good damage to deployables such as shotgun traps. It usually takes about five per trap, but I slipped up and died. No. <laughs> Dude, come on. It would be useless to run straight back. I had no F1 grenades in base to break the shotgun traps to retrieve my body. So as long as I couldn't get my body, neither could anyone else. I quickly ran to bandit camp to purchase a bunch of F1 grenades just to be safe. Okay, they're gone. Trash, garbage, garbage, all garbage. Unfortunate. Okay, well let's see what's behind these. Oh, another draw. Oh, dude. That's gonna be main loot. I was positive I found where their main loot was. So to get some decent closure to this raid, I scrounged up supplies to raid this last door. I bought a rocket from a shop, and I found a tier 3 to craft my remaining gunpowder into explosive ammo. It was time to end this raid. Oh my god, TC. What have we got? Okay, dude. Holy shit. Look at all that fucking fertilizer. I used all of that scrap to research a lot of important items, and then I got off for the wipe. Just to quickly go over these two days of solo, I PvP'd, eco raided, made some clutch plays, took heli, defended a raid, counter raided, and finally, of course, I did my own raid on the clan that tried to raid me, all as a solo. I'd say those were a successful couple of days, and I hope you guys enjoyed the journey. Until next time, peace.